What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using everybody's favorite crocodile. We got ourselves a crocodile team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to crocodile, this Pokemon has an incredible design and it has an amazing typing of ground and dark. It has one of the best abilities in all of Pokemon with Intimidate and it's holding a clear amulet as its item in today's video. It's got taunt, it's got knockoff, it's got high horsepower, and last but not least, it has protect. Everybody loves protect in double battles, but crocodile definitely an off meta pokemon but it is definitely strong at the same time so i'm super excited to be using them and showcasing them in today's video now on today's team we also have the dreaded combo of archludon and pelipper arguably one of the best combos in regulation each archludon's got stamina with the assault vest rock and flash cannon dragon pulse electro shot and body press pelipper over here has drizzle obviously as his ability with the focus ash with wide guard hurricane weather ball and tailwind our final three Pokemon to complement today's team goes out to Amoongus, Basque Legion, and Golden Go. Amoongus, going to be a great support Pokemon with Spore, Clear Smog, and Rage Powder. Golden Go, great special attacker with Nasty Plot. And Basque Legion, a perfect physical attacker to pair up with Pelipper as it has Swift Swim and the Choice Band. Guys, want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Crocodile in ranked Regulation H. First match on its way, and we're going up against a dope Charizard and Rhyperior team. They have Torkoal to set the sun, so we definitely want, want to bring Pelipper to win that weather war. They also have, is that Rabska? Is that how you pronounce that Pokemon's name? I always forget how to pronounce it, but it's either Rabska or Rapscaba. It's one or the other, hopefully. They got Nihilate as another Pokemon. Last but not least, they have Indeedee and Rhyperior. A great little Trick Room combo. So, again, I definitely want Pelipper. I could come out here intimidating turn one, which wouldn't be bad. I do like Crocodile here, especially for, like, obviously knockoff to kind of deal damage onto Indeedee and high horsepower to deal damage into Torkoal. So, I'm going to end up leading Crocodile. They could go Defiant Annihilate, which could get real ugly real quick. But at that point, what would we want to do? But we just want to go into like Basque Legion and maybe swap into Pelipper. That is, that is an option. That is definitely an option. With the choice ban. I think this thing does great damage regardless. So I'm going to go into... Oh man, this is tough for me. This is real tough. I'm going to end up going all rain squad here. If they want to bring in Trick Room, we don't need Amoongus. We do not need Amoongus. And I love his name, Among Us. Among Us is such a fun game. Actually, funny enough, me and my boys still actually play it from time to time. We get, If we have eight people online in a party, we're like, all right, we have enough players to go run Among Us. So we go run a couple games for like an hour just to end night sometimes because usually I'm gaming at night with the boys. So yeah, if we have enough, we're just like, yeah, we're hopping on Among Us. It's just a good time every time because everybody just starts arguing, yapping at each other. It's so much fun. Let's see who they end up leading. Anybody but Annihilate will be happy with. And it's going to be Charizard and DD, which I love. I do not mind this. Um... Again, they could swap in the sun if they want to. That is a possibility. Um, and I definitely want to go into knockoff in the indeed. I feel like they kind of want to set, a tr set up trick room, but at the same time, they don't. Could go into poison terror. I definitely want to go knockoff this slot. And if I can, I'd rather flip turn out of here. In hopes that I can just like outspeed Charizard. What's your speed, Rescue Legion? Probably don't want to speed Charizard. Yeah, 130. I still would rather go for a flip turn this this play. So I'm gonna do that. If indeed he doesn't swap, yeah, he's gonna swap. Hmm, I hate this game. He's gonna bring out the sun. Hopefully, you don't go fire terror. That'd be the real problem. That'd be the real issue. You go fire terror. Fire terror would be a big time problem for us. So Drought's gonna come out here. Looking terrifying. And yeah. Bye bye, Crooks. I think it's bye bye, Crooks. I think it's bye bye Crooks. We're gonna see a Terra type pop out from him, and it's gonna be okay. Straight grass. All right, actually, that that's a little bit better. I mean, not for my flip turn damage, but for the fact that. Oh, and never mind. What's called dead. Actually, that could be Crocodile. Someone's dead. Someone's dead. Let's be honest here. It's gonna be Basque Legion. So Basque Legion is gonna die out here. Um, not too bad here. I mean, that's not the worst. Considering I get to bring out Pelipper, you got a crit. It didn't matter. My, my Basque Legion was dead regardless. I mean, Crocodile is going to be able to get off this shot right here, which is really good for us. This knockoff. It's going to do respectable damage, which is good news. And Charizard is going to take some solar power damage. So, obviously, we have to go into Pelipper here. And the thing is, now... 
is we have to win the weather war. And they, they definitely are thinking that too. They're definitely sitting here like, hey, we have to win this weather war. They're going to swap Torkoal. So I think Torkoal is going to get the swap, and we are just going to hit up on Charizard here. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to hard swap into Arch Ludon. We're going right into Arch Ludon here. Could they swap into Ndidi? They could swap into Ndidi. Do I really care for Charizard that much in rain? Not really. So you know what? I'm going to go for knockoff again into this slot. And then I'm just straight up swapping Pelipper for Arch Ludon. Because, again, we have to win this weather war. He withdraws Charizard. Okay. That's fine. So Charizard with the withdrawal. They're going to go into Rhyperior here. So Rhyperior is going to fly out here. That's fine by me. Are you double swapping? No, you're not double swapping. So we're able to attack this Torkoal. I wonder what Torkoal's rocking here. Because again, we just have to win this weather war. We can win this game if we win the weather war. There is the withdrawal Torkoal. So good call on Arn to go for knockoff in this slot. And Didi's going to come out here. So Didi's going to take a big chunk of damage to this shot. A lot of swaps. We get off a valuable turn here. Knockoff going to launch. And it's 1 HP Bandit right here. Come on, man. We don't need that. So 1 HP Bandit comes out here. Um... Hi Ho, we could actually double down in the right period at this point. If they want to pop Trick Room, they could. Mm, Trick Room actually wouldn't be good for us. Unless we win the Weather War. Unless we win the Weather War. So I can do this, and I can also Terra Water. And just go Dragon Pulse this slot. I'm cool with this. I also like the Terra Water here. Definitely works in our favor. Yeah, and I can launch Dragon Pulse this slot. Alright, I'm cool with that. Follow me could pop out here as well. That's fine. We just can't allow Ndidi to stay on the field another turn. Because if Ndidi stays on the field another turn, we we let him have that threat of popping Trick Room, which we don't need with Torkoal. We do not need that, so. We're going Arch Ludon. Helping Hand's going to fly out here. Pretty smart call here. I'm guessing you're going for a ground move into Arch Ludon, which is why I Terrasalize. And high horsepower actually launches and does really respectable damage. That's great damage all around. Dragon Pulse going to launch. We're just going to get rid of Indeed this turn. And we're going to see how they want to play this one. We are going to simply see how they want to play this one. Hammer Arm's actually going to fly. Ooh. Ooh, Hammer Arm. Lowering your speed. Alright. I see it. I see ya. Alright, so the problem here is they get out Sun for the rest of the match. That's the problem. That's the big problem. Um, I wish I had Protect. I really do. I really wish we did have Protect. Because now we're sitting here with the threat of Charizard coming out here with Solar Beam. And that could pretty much end this. That could pretty much end this. So let's see who they go into. I'm kind of hoping they go into Torkoal first. If they go into Torkoal first, we actually have a shot. But if they go into Charizard and then swap right here for Torkoal, then we have a slight issue. They do go into Torkoal first. Alright, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Um. Hmm. I could wide guard this turn. Does this... No, it's probably not a heat wave, right? Do we think it's a heat wave? With all my water Pokemon out on the field. We gotta go for Hurricane at least. Could set up a Tailwind. Now would be the turn to do it. Tailwind and just flash cannon a slot. I'm cool with that. What could Torkoal go for? Eruption? I don't think Eruption's just doing all that much damage. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind. I'm gonna get the Tailwind going. Torkoal, what are you going for here? Flash cannon's gonna launch. It is gonna KO you. We get off the Tailwind, which is actually pretty big. Because if both my Pokemon survive this, we should be able to start out speeding, and then I could just Weather Ball. Probably just KO the Charizard. And you have Solar Beam as well. How dare you? Solar Beam launching here. Is that into, who's that into? That's into Pelper. Alright, hold up. Wait a minute. That's actually big time news for us. That's big time news. Because Charizard's going to come out your Grass Terra. I should be able to outspeed it and KO it with Weather Ball. And then we can just start attacking this... This Torkoal. Yeah, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Weather Ball should KO. And I'm going to hope that it does. So I'm going to go Weather Ball here. Um, Dragon Pulse probably going to be the call over Electro Shot or Body Press. They don't have any defense boost. 
And I'm just going to send one into Torkoal, just in case Charizard wants to protect. And no, Weather Ball going to fly. So Tailwind was a great call on our end. Weather Ball going to KO? It does all day. Let's go. That's massive. That is some big time plays for us. That is some big time plays for us. Really, what won us the match was them not bringing out Charizard, and they brought out Torkoal. Because I thought they were going to bring out Charizard, swap right period for Torkoal, Solar Beam to probably win the game. But now we're sitting here in a perfect position. Perfect position. Solar Beam's going to launch. Actually, is this a perfect position? We need to soak this. We're AV'd, though. We should soak this. Yeah, okay, awesome. I was going to say, if you KO here and then we're, like, missing hurricanes or, like, weather balls not doing enough damage, then we would lose. But, no, nah, we're chilling. We're chilling. So, from here, I'm going to go for a hurricane. Actually, I'm curious to see if weather ball would KO. So, I'm going to go for weather ball. going to follow through with 100 accuracy dragon pulls. And chances are they probably just cancel the match. Let's go. 1-0 to get things started. Hot start for your boy. So guys, we killed it in match number one, especially after losing Basque Legion turn one to a Charizard Solar Beam. But hey, we're into match number two. We're going up against a rain squad, a big time rain squad. They got Swift Swim Basque Legion, Swift Swim Polyrath. They got Pelipper to set the rain. They got Arch Ludon just like us. And then they got Weavile and Golden Go as their final two Pokemon. Okay, I like Arch Ludon here for our lead. So I am going to end up leading it, leading it. If it could stack some defense boost, it could be really, really good. Um... Who else do I want to lead? I could lead Pelipper. I could just go straight rain and look to get after it. That's not bad. They could end up leading like Weavile. And Fake Out could be a little bit of a problem. But I still like these two as our lead. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. Um, Bash Legion, do you have to? Yeah, I feel like I have to. I feel like I have to go into Bash Legion here. Swift Swim. Got Water Terror. Your speed's maxed out. What more can I want? Is it absolutely maxed out with natures? Hold up. It's not. So it's maxed out with EVs, just not nature. Which is fine. I mean, it, chances are that they're not jolly Basic Legion. So I'm going to go into both. Or I'm going to go into Basic Legion. And then last but not least, probably want to go into... I'm thinking you. I'm thinking you. Actually, I'm going to go Amoongus. I got to lock it in. I think I got it. I definitely got it. I definitely got it. One second on the clock. It's all right. We use all of our time. We use all of our time. We're sitting 1-0, looking to go 2-0 here. Crookedile thriving out match number one, but this one right here, definitely not the matchup for Crooks. Crooks doesn't stand a chance in the ring. Everybody will just start ripping up into him. Let's see if they end up bleeding. It is going to be same as me. Let's get it. Let's do it. Come on now. Come on now. Let's do it. All right, so I have Focus Ash, obviously on my Pelipper. Um, I could drop an Electro Shot. You could be Ground Terror. A lot of different options here. A lot of different options. I think we just want to launch an Electro Shot. Start boosting our special attack. So I'm going to do that. And I am going to pop a Tailwind here. I'm just going to look to grant a little bit of speed here. I do have Ground Terra. I'm going to send Ground Terra. I'm going to hope that they're going for Electro Shot into this slot. I'm going to go Ground Terra. It seems like we want to do the same thing. So let's see. It'd be so funny if we both go for Ground Terra and we both go for... Uh, and we both go for Tailwind, and we both go for Electro Shot. That would be like the best thing ever. So I'm gonna throw slides. He's gonna go for Electro Shot. This has got to be in the Pel Pelipper. Got to be in the Pelipper. This has got to be in the Pelipper. So he's still gonna get that special attack boost, which really, really grinds my gears. And no, it's going into Archaludon. It's going into Archaludon. I do get a stamina boost, which we love. Tailwind is going to launch, and we are going to deal some big-time damage into Paloops. Um, wonder what Pelipper's going for. I would guess to go going Tailwind for Tailwind, right? I hope you're not Focus Ash, but chances are you're Focus Ash. You could be Rocky Helmet, but again, chances are you're Focus Ash. If I could KO you here, that'd be pretty big. I'm sending it over there. Bop. You're not Sash. We love that. We love that. We love a non-Sash Pokemon. So we get rid of Pelipper. We're plus one on defense, plus one on special defense, which is great. Or not special defense, special attack. And I could start body pressing into this Arch of Ludon. We got speed right now with Tailwind. But out comes Bashku Legion. Um, I think he definitely terrestrializes. I really do think that's the play. And I'm going to start just like Dragon Pulsing in this slot. I'm going to Dragon Pulse. Uh, and I'm going to start hurricaning you down. You probably still outspeed me. I could hard swap into like a Moongus here, which wouldn't be bad. And just save my Pelipper. Yeah, because Pelipper's not outspeeding. I'm going to hard swap you into uh, a Moongus. So, Moongus time. Let's do it. 
I would think you would want to go for like a wave crash, and then at this point I can spore, I can rage powder, keep my arch loot on on the field for a little bit longer. A few options for us. I want to see a terror type pop out here. It's got to be Bashkin Legion, right? No, Arch Ludon. Please don't be fairy. Grass. I can deal with grass. I can deal with grass. I'm launching a Dragon Pulse in this slot. Because like I said, right now we're plus one on special special attack. And it's just going to protect Bashkin Legion. So this is, a, this is a great turn for us. This is a solid turn right now. This is a solid turn. Dragon Pulse is going to fly. Do more than enough damage. More than respectable damage. And now we're sitting in a really comfortable position. A really comfortable position. Really comfortable position where I can just electro shot you down, get this special attack boost, and more importantly, just rage powder. Just rage powder, protect my arch loot on. It's a comfortable position. This is a comfortable position. So I'm gonna rage powder up. I know it doesn't affect the arch loot on, but my arch loot on outspeeds. Less respects flies through, does decent damage, and electro shots not only going to KO the arch loot on, but give us another plus one in special attack. Oh baby. Oh baby. Let's go. Let's go. I actually could have sent that into Basket Legion, but Basket Legion seems to be maybe Sash here. Basket Legion seems to be the Pokemon that's Sash. Maybe that or Mystical, Mystical Water, but from here, it could definitely protect again. I could Rage Powder and Electro Shot it. We'll see who they want to throw out here. It's going to be Weavile. So Weavile's got his fake out turns. Weavile's got his fake out turns. To be honest, I'd rather, like, if you're going to fake me out, I'd rather go Electro Shot here. I'd rather go Electro Shot. And if you do end up faking me out, I'd rather just Spore. Look, to just kind of, like, double down into the slot here. And they just cancel match, so they don't even take the risk. We're 2 and out. Let's go hop into our third. Your boy is absolutely killing it with this Crocodile team. We're sitting 2 and out, going up against a Defiant King Gambit squad with Incineroar with Dragonite. They also have Alolan Ninetales for a little bit of weather control, so we're going to have to watch out for that. And then they got Garchomp and Amoogus. So I definitely want Crocodile in here. I definitely want Pelipper. I don't want Elite Crocodile, though. Actually, I do want Elite Crocodile. That's a clear amulet. I was going to say, I'm a little worried about Incineroar, but having that clear amulet really helps us out. Uh, Defiant King Gambit could come out here, which could be a slight issue, but I think we should be fine. So I'm going to end up going into Crocodile alongside with... I want to go Pelipper. I want to go Pelipper. I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm going to maybe set up a Tailwind turn one. So I'm going to go Pelipper. I'm going to go Crocodile. I'm going to go Archer Ludon. And last but not least, I got to go Basket Legion. We just have to win the Weather War, though. Hmm. All right. That's the problem. Like, we want to win the Weather War, but we also are leading Pelipper, which means they can just, like, hard swap into a little Nine Tails. But in this case, I could honestly just, like, hard swap Pelipper turn one. We'll see. We'll see who they end up leading. Anybody but King Gambit, right? Anybody but King Gambit. It's King Gambit. Luckily, we're winning the Weather War this first turn. We are going to Defiant pop him. Which could get real ugly. Unless you're Supreme Overlord. That'd be awesome. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Defiant's going to boost. He's plus one on attack. A little rough on our end. Um, high horsepower definitely in play. And I'm going to go for this Tailwind. We're just going to go for this Tailwind. I doubt... Uh, Ninetales could go for like a Blizzard or something. I want Terrastalize. No, I, 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 I'm I, fairly certain that this uh, that this Ninetales is probably going to swap or protect here. It just has to. I'm going to see a Terror type pop out here. This is King Gambo. King Gambo is about to shred my team. He's about to just shred my team. Grass Terra. Flying Terra. Oh, yeah, I, I, this one's wraps. Wrap it up. Thanks for playing. King Gambit's about to just walk through my team. Blizzard ends up landing. That's what I was scared of, too. Thanks for playing, Jeans. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. But one rule I have on the channel is... Oh, cool, 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 cool. Pelper got off Tailwind. We actually have a shot here. One rule I have on the channel, though, is I don't, is I don't get swept. Actually, two rules. I don't get swept, and I don't go 0-3. We're already not going 0-3 in today's video because we won our first two. But I can't get swept here. I can't get swept. Luckily, rain is out here. I got the rain boys flying out here with Tailwind. Ready to roll. Electroshock can do some damage. It can do some damage right here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking of just launching a wave crash into this nine tail slot with a with a water terror. I definitely want to go Electroshock right here. I'm gonna Electroshock that. Who could they possibly swap into? 
Incineroar, they could swap it to a dragon. They could swap it to a Moongus. You know what? We're just gonna go last respects right here. A Moongus would be detrimental to us. There's a withdrawal of Nine Tails. Hopefully, King Game is not protecting, but chances are he's definitely protecting. There's Incineroar. Dude, I could have just went for my wave crash that I wanted to do. I could have just wave crash this thing down. Could have been a free KO. Is he protecting King Gambit? No, he's going for Sucker Punch. All right, so Basket Legion's dead regardless. All right, whatever. I already knew I lost this match. I, I'm getting absolutely dumped on here, but I will not get swept. I will not get swept. We're going to let your shot down this King Gambo. We're just, I, like, like I said, like that's that's the problem with like Intimidate users. Like, I love them. I didn't even KO. I have to KO this King Gambit. I have to KO this King Gambit. Just go for Dragon Pulse. They might even swap weather. I'm not canceling. I can't get swept. That's my rules. Sucker Punch gonna launch here. Oh wow, that damage is absurd. That damage is absurd. I'm able to go for Dragon Pulse and not get swept. But like I said, Intimidate users rock, but one mistake like that with Intimidate when you're going up against Defiant Pokemon could really be detrimental. That Pokemon is just so strong. After that Defiant Boost, he's like, oh my lord. He ends up going for Knockoff. Do I have a shot here? Do I have a shot with all these defense boosts? Do I have a chance? Because I'm plus two, aren't I? You going into Nine Tails here? I have Tailwind up. There's no way I have a shot, do I? Unless you're not Sash, because I'd love to just go for Flash Cannon and drop you here. Might as well go for it. <laughs> we might as well go for it. Flash Cannon's gonna launch. If you're not Sash, you're not. I could body press this instead of one. I'm plus two defense. Hold up. Show me another physical attacker. Give me a chance. <laughs> Give me a chance. Flare Blitz launching. Give me a chance. <laughs> Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Yo, this is actually coming down a lot closer. My Tailwind's gone, though. I was hoping I had one more turn left in Tailwind. You got flying out here. Tell him to KO me, right? Garchomp. Dragon Egg. Nah, I still totally lose this one. Unless Archelodon's outspeeding here. I, I mean, I still have Water Terror. Which is terrible. I gotta go for here, KO here, and then be able to rip a body press. But, yeah, this is just not happening. <laughs> this is just not happening. It'd be crazy if I outspeed him. It would be absurd. But it just shows the power of Archelodon. Like, they had me dead, and I'm actually, like, making a comeback. No shot you protect. We could have just won. We could have had a shot at winning there. If I body press Incineroar this turn. If I body press Incineroar this turn, we had a shot at winning. You get a burn. Of course you get a burn. I'm curious to see if we outspeed the Dragonite. I'm curious to see if we outspeed this Dragonite. Because if we outspeed the Dragonite, we actually would have won this game if they didn't protect. Let me see. I mean, chances are you can just go for E speed, but I, I want to see. Like, go for a normal move, please. Go for a normal move. I want to. I want to see if we're outspeeding. You're going for E speed. Of course you are. GGS. We'll never know. We'll never know. But actually, almost came back. We got two and one for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Crocodile going to work today. Two and one winning record. What more can you guys ask for? We got dumped on in that, in that third and final match, but honestly, Arch Luna put up a strong fight, and that's all I could ask for for him. Flash cannons going crazy, body presses. We actually probably had a chance at winning that match if we would have just body pressed Incineroar. But I went for Dragon Pulse into Dragonite instead, and he ended up protecting at the perfect time. So good calls from our opponent. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.